Hi, it's Dr. Rohde. We're going to move on with the second part of our little bit deeper dive leading up to our uh, Facebook Live. We're really going to discuss all of this and have question and answer sessions for everybody to kind of jump in and ask questions. We worked through digestion. Today we're going to talk about elimination because obviously once you digest food and your body breaks it up, you need to be able to get the toxins out. So why do I say toxins? Well, just the process of digestion with all those wonderful bacteria in your gut breaking down the foods in that very process, you're going to produce toxins that you want to get out. Ideally, you should move your bowels daily, uh, if not twice daily. And I have patients that come in and move their bowels every third day, once a week, and they think that's normal because that's just what they've always done. The problem is and all those toxins build up inside and they start to cause side effects. And the number one side effect of all the toxins is, of course, inflammation. And one of the biggest problems I see is fibromyalgia. Um, which is basically a statement that says your tissues are inflamed and your question shouldn't be what pill can I take, your question should be how do I work on eliminating the inflammation or finding out what the cause of that inflammation is. So really working on getting your bowels to work properly is the most important thing you can do after you work on being able to digest the food. Uh, a nice way to look at this is if you look on the internet, there are pictures of what a nice bowel movement should look like, a nice little log. Uh, any variation from that really means other things are going on in the gut that aren't working properly, and that's a good point to start to think, hmm, maybe I'd better investigate this a little bit further. So uh, elimination, very important because we need to get those toxins out for your body to perform optimally. So we'll jump into the next topic uh, in just a bit. See you there.